So I'm going to cook low carb portobello pizzas. So they're, they're fantastically low in carbohydrates and in vitamins, including vitamin A, vitamin D, and lots of fiber. So that's why we love them compared to the starchy, um, high sugar producing standard pizza base. So what I'm going to do is just start with adding the olive oil and need two tablespoons of olive oil so we can dribble, drizzle that over the mushrooms and then add a lovely bit of garlic. I've got some sort of prepared and then crushed. Get that lovely smell of garlic and it bakes beautifully and tastes really sweet um, on the pizza. So I'm going to chuck that all together. Sorry, not brilliant knife spoon, it's not my forte. And then just add in a teaspoon of oregano. Dried oregano is absolutely fine. It has that lovely, sweet Italian herby taste. Give that a quick mix up, and we're going to drizzle that in a minute over the oil, over the pizzas. Okay, so working with these lovely mushrooms, what I'm going to do is add in the tomato puree and drizzle those around the base of the mushroom. So now it's beginning to start to look a little bit more pizza-like. And then what to do, just add an extra juiciness, is to um, slice tomatoes in half so that we can pop those around our pizzas. And they do taste remarkably, remarkably like slightly juicy pizzas with a kind of nice foam base. There we go, that's all done. I'm gonna drop those in. And then just scatter the trees over the top. And again, people often say for a, a diet, how come you're eating cheese? But it um, keeps you full, plenty of nutrients in it. And it's actually been shown to be beneficial in terms of helping reduce blood sugars, but it's quite high in calories, so eat it in moderation, enjoy it in moderation. All that lovely mozzarella, which will melt beautifully. So, a little bit of pepper on it to give it a bit more flavor. And then finally, just drizzle this delicious, tasty oil on top, like that, so it gets a lovely crisp surface and a bit of that, that sweet garlic in it. So here we go, and it needs to go in for eight to ten minutes and it'll come out juicy, crispy, tasty and absolutely glorious to eat. It looks so simple and it's absolutely delicious. It smells fantastic. And there you go, just brown, sizzling, scrumptious. I'm quite hungry, I'm looking forward to trying this one. And all those lovely nutrients without... Oh, oh, my. You <laughs> this is one of my favourites. This is one of my all-time favourites. Doesn't that look fantastic? It does. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. it's off. <laughs> Enjoy. I will. <laughs>